these mysterious photos cannot be explained. Part 2. Kickstarting Part 2 with this mysterious photo. What is it? Is this Bigfoot? Sasquatch? A mountain ape? A guy in a suit? We're not 100% sure, but no matter what, we need an explanation of what's happening here. The Lady of the Lighthouse. Like something out of a seaside novel, this photo seems to show a woman on the precipice of jumping from a lighthouse. However, there's no evidence of a woman ever being up there any time near when the photo was taken. No, the mystery in this photo isn't how those early 2000s clothes were ever fashionable. Instead, look behind the right shoulder of the boy in blue. Notice the inexplicable, horror movie-esque figure behind him. The creature in this photo, given the nickname Skunk Ape, was captured on a film by a Florida woman in the year 2000. Some have claimed it's a Sasquatch, while others simply a black bear or orangutan. However, none of those explanations fit the Florida setting. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison. Tiananmen Square. In this photo, a man attempts to single-handedly block the path of over a dozen People's Liberation Army tanks heading into Tiananmen Square. His identity remains unknown to this very day. The Russell Family. In August 1997, members of the Russell family visited their grandmother in the home where she was living. They were later surprised to discover, in the background of this photo, the image of their grandfather, who had died three years earlier, a time traveler. Here's a photo from a newsreel filmed in 1938 at a factory in Massachusetts, where a woman appears to be holding a cell phone. A time traveler, perhaps? Whose hand is that? This photo was taken over a century ago, but whose hand is that? Some claim it belongs to a ghost. A cell phone in the 20s. In the Charlie Chaplin archives, you can see footage from the movie premiere of the circus, filmed in 1928, which also seems to confirm that cell phones existed way before our time. Lisa Lamb. Captured by cameras in the elevator at the Cecil Hotel, this Canadian student Elisa Lamb was found dead two weeks later in a water tank on the hotel roof. But here's the rub, the tank was completely sealed and 13 feet high. Elisa Lamb, also known by her Cantonese name, Lam Ho Yi, a Canadian student at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver. She had been staying at the hotel when she was reported missing at the beginning of the month. A maintenance worker discovered the body when investigating guest complaints of problems with the water supply and pressure. The circumstances of Lamb's death, once she was found, also raised questions, especially in light of the hotel's history in relation to other notable deaths and murders. Her body was naked with most of her clothes and personal effects floating in the water near her. It took the Los Angeles County Coroner's Office four months after repeated delays to release the autopsy report which reports no evidence of physical trauma and states that the manner of death was accidental. Her disappearance had been widely reported. Interest had increased five days prior to the discovery of her body when the Los Angeles Police Department released a video of the last time she was known to have been seen. On the day of her disappearance by an elevator security camera in the hotel, in the footage, Lamb is seen exiting and re-entering the elevator, talking, and gesturing in the hallway outside, and sometimes seeming to hide within the elevator. The video went viral, with many viewers reporting that they found it unsettling. Next is this photo. This photo was taken in England, in the early 1940s. It was only when it was developed that the child mysteriously appeared in the image. That hand. In this 20th century photo, a ghostly hand can be spotted resting on this Queen Anne style bureau. While a photo of this old house was taken, a mysterious entity is captured as well. Apparently, the photo wasn't supposed to contain anything but the home, but it wasn't the case. As normal as the house is, the strange form makes it look ominous. The mysterious Margate family. The unknown Margate family are one of Britain's most charming recent mysteries in 2015. The National Museum of Scotland acquired a collection of Victorian-era photographs. Most were random shots of men in suits and women, with stern expressions, but a small number stood out. Running through the collection were repeated images of the same family on vacation in the Kent town of Margate. As the photographs progressed, they grew older. The children getting taller, and a baby sister suddenly appearing at- In this shot the boys are taller, and the father now wears a tie. The quality of the tintype, and the modest outfits of the day, makes it difficult to judge the weather or exact time of year. 
As the family grows older, they are joined by a younger sibling. We also notice the fashions change. The mother's simple straw hat is replaced by something more formal. But who are the Margate family, and what became of them? In 1838, a resident of Paris stopped to have his shoes shined on the Boulevard du Temple and accidentally made history. At that precise moment, Louis Dogger was experimenting with his daguerreotype on a nearby rooftop and snapped a picture of the street. It took seven minutes to complete the exposure, which was so long that all the traffic became invisible. But our Parisian men just happened to spend those seven minutes standing still. As a result, he became the first photographed human in history. Beyond that, we know nothing about him. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out part 1 which will be linked in the description. Please like and subscribe for more.